Pamela, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really excited to learn more and hear about your experience as one of Banco Santander's independent board members. Um, to kick us off, I, I would love to hear more about your journey and your path to joining Santander's board. Okay, well thank you very much. Um, it's lovely to be here uh, on a glorious summer's day in London. Um, so my, I spent most of my career with Standard Chartered um, and I was very lucky, I had a very varied career there. And then I decided that um, I wanted to retire and I wanted to uh, take up a non-executive role. And so I spoke to my chief executive at the time a year before I wanted to leave and explain what I was planning. And they were very generous actually and said, well, why don't you go and have a coach and help you that transition with that transition? So I went and worked with this lady who bullied me remorselessly for about six months to get me into the right place. Um, and then I started to go around all the headhunters once I'd actually retired and speak to them. And I actually got approached uh, for the Santander UK board. Uh, and so I went through all the interviews with the UK board and then my last interview was with Anna Botin. And halfway through the interview, she said, well, this is ridiculous. She said, you should join the group board, at which point I nearly fell off my chair. Um, and then she said, well, come out to Madrid. So I went out to Madrid and I did the whole cycle again with the group uh, interviews um, and uh, got appointed to the board, which was very exciting for me. Um, and actually, it's a I've, real thanks to Anna. And I'm not just saying that because we're here at the W50 Summit, but she took a chance on me. And I think that's a lesson for all of us. Um, so it's been great. Well, thank you so much for sharing and we're really excited to see the impact that you'll be making on the board. So you spent most of your career in banking and now you serve on a, a board of, a, of another bank. And I'm curious for those, for people in the audience who might not have spent their careers in banking, they might have been in law or nonprofits, do you think there's a seat at the table for people on boards that might not have necessarily served in that industry or spent their career in that industry prior to joining? Definitely, most definitely. So I think um, the thing with the Santander board is if you look at the directors and their backgrounds, there's a complete diversity of experience. Um, and particularly in this age where actually the last two years has been painful with COVID, but actually it's really accelerated that digital transformation. So, you know, we're often on the lookout for people who've got very good tech experience, but haven't necessarily come up through a big company. And, uh, you know, people who have run their own businesses and bring something different to it. So I bring a very traditional risk, banking background, but I work with people on that board who are very different to me. I think there's also the other point that one of the other jobs I do is I sit on a very small boutique headhunting firm's advisory board. Um, and that's a business that's run, it's actually run by a friend of mine and he just wants some experience there. He wants somebody to talk to because he's not sure about all the decisions he's taking as he builds the business. So there's lots of opportunity both in the big companies who are looking for diversity of experience but also in the small companies who are actually just looking for some people who can just challenge their thinking about where they take a small business. And I think both have got, there's a huge need at the moment, huge. And one final question for you. For a woman that wants to join a board this year, what is one piece of advice that you would share with them? One, one piece of advice. I, well, I'm going to be slightly sneaky and have two. Uh, so the two I would say is, be very clear about what you bring to a board. And it's not about necessarily your experience, but your personal attributes that you would bring to a board. And the other thing is just go and ask for it. I think we're, uh, as this is a very broad generalization about women, but we sometimes are sort of little reticent about sort of asking for the, the big opportunity. And if you ask for it, invariably people will sort of say, well, actually come and talk to me. Well, thank you so much for taking time to speak with us today, and we're delighted to have you here and, and, and definitely a role model and advocate for women. It's a pleasure. Thank you.